You have to always be alert, always be on your A game. It don't take much voltage to stop your heart. John Brooks is part of a skilled team that installs and repairs the world's most high voltage power lines. Live wires coursing with more power than 400 electric chairs. There's little chance of survival if you get into something bad. Severe burns, you can lose arms and legs and you're not gonna go home from it. In fact, dozens of power line workers die each year. But for these guys, the danger is amplified even further because they do most of their work using helicopters. You see, John and his teammates are what you call aerial linemen. Their employer, Haverfield Aviation, specializes in servicing power lines that can only be accessed by chopper in some of the country's most unforgiving terrain. Helicopters are dangerous and power lines are dangerous. When you put the two together, you have double danger. That's John and his teammates headed to a rusted out service tower high up in the Appalachian Mountains. To get there, they're dangling from a chopper traveling at breakneck speeds, all while wielding chainsaws. Now, there's so many things that we have to watch for. It's pretty mind boggling. To make matters worse, most of John's work is done hovering at an elevation most chopper pilots are trained to avoid, called the dead man's curve. When I'm about to do something and I think, well, if I cut this corner, I can get it done faster, I remember my kids and my wife at home. And that stops me dead in my trash because I don't want my kids standing over my casket crying because daddy took a shortcut. Despite the dangers, John says he knew he wanted the job the moment he saw the Haverfield team in action. Where I live, there's not a whole lot of jobs. So the good Lord really blessed me when he, he moved me here. I'm just an old hillbilly. Never one time have I ever been on an airplane or anything before I hired in here. While the average power line worker makes about 67 grand a year, aerial linemen can make a lot more. I probably make around 90,000 a year to 100,000 maybe. And I'm not one of the top paid guys. For me, it's not all about the money. The truth of it is, people goes to Six Flags and pays a lot of money to get to take a little old ride, and I get paid to do something even better than any of that. Keeping the national grid going is very important. I can get emotional thinking about it, but I, I am privileged. I've been blessed. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.